there was uh, no justification for a prosecution uh, against uh, Mr Lamb and or his wife, uh, Mrs Lamb, uh, in relation to these matters. And I'll briefly explain them to you in relation to the first being the privilege and information issue and then secondly the offering of an advantage. Now in relation to the first, as I've said, uh, Mr Lamb and his wife had put uh, four properties on the uh, public market uh, in early June of 2012. Now the new measures did not surface or become concrete within the administration until about August of 2012. So it's quite clear that the properties have been put on the property market well before uh, these matters had, had really percolated up to the upper echelons of government for serious consideration. The Executive Council was informed on the 26th of October 2012 uh, there was a meeting in relation to these measures. However, Mr Lamb was not in Hong Kong at the time and did not attend the meeting. Uh, and so it was clear in relation to uh, this particular matter that there was no evidence uh, to support the complaint that Mr Lamb had used confidential information uh, that he may have obtained in his capacity as a member of the Executive Council. As to the uh, second matter in relation to the offering of an advantage, uh, it was Mrs Lamb, the wife of Mr Lamb, who uh, engaged the property agent in June of 2012. So when the decision was made that they would sell uh, some properties uh, in June of 2012, uh, she commissioned the property agent and had a discussion with him. We, the ICAC obtained a statement uh, from the property agent and in that statement he's revealed that uh, there was discussion with Mrs Lamb uh, and in that discussion she engaged him to sell the four properties. This is in early June of 2012. And then there was discussion in relation to an extra commission uh, being the difference between... Uh, the selling price and the bottom price. Uh, however, the agent in discussion with her uh, noted that it would be required to be disclosed in the uh, S&P sale and purchase agreement uh, and therefore it wouldn't be feasible uh, for the extra commission. However, there was suggestion that maybe the extra commission could be donated. Uh, however, in any event, uh, what did then take place was that the agent did input on the agency's computer system that an extra commission had been uh, offered or proposed uh, so that it was made known in the property agency's computer system. In other words, it was not secret and was uh, accessible and known to anybody who was a member of the property agency. Uh, only one property of the four was eventually sold. Uh, this was in September of 2012 and uh, the commission that was paid was, was 1%. Uh, the uh, agent who transacted the sale also gave a statement to the Independent Commission Against Corruption and confirmed that the commission paid was 1%.